to best demonstrate the difference between solid edge with synchronous technology and history based direct editing or explicit editing techniques used by other 3D CAD systems, let's perform some modifications to what seems like a simple model. OK, so let's take a look at some synchronous modifications on this simple model, which happens to have been imported, as can be seen by the part copy feature present in the Pathfinder. This does not matter in Solid Edge, since the edits we can perform are the same, regardless as to whether it is a native or imported part. Synchronous technology means it no longer matters how a part was constructed. We'll start by changing the angle of this face. A few other history-based systems have some direct edit functions such as Move Face. However, these will be tripped up by the presence of the rounds on the edges of the face. This is no problem for Solid Edge as we can see. Maybe we want the face on the other side to be angled at the same time. Again, no problem in Solid Edge since we can switch on the Symmetric Live rule to perform this. Perhaps we would like the boss on the right side of the part to remain perpendicular to the face. Again, no problem as we can just select its geometry too and perform the edit again. We need another boss on the left hand side of the part. Selecting the existing one and mirroring makes this a quick job. Geometry reuse in a synchronous model is amazingly easy. Simply grab the faces and copy or mirror and the job is done. This boss could even be stored in a feature library for future use on any part. A history based system would just not be able to achieve this on an imported model. Once again we'll angle the side face. On its own first, and then with the boss. Finally, we might want to drive the angle directly via a dimension. Again, Solid Edge makes this easy with its PMI dimensions. Simply place the dimension and adjust as necessary. Live were all working here to maintain symmetry once again. Try getting other CAD systems to drive imported geometry with dimensions. As before, we may want the boss to stay perpendicular. This again is no problem, even with the limited dimensions we have on this model. Simply select the boss before performing the edit, and our intent is maintained as the dimension is adjusted. Try Solid Edge for yourself by requesting a free 30 day trial at www.synchronoustechnology.net forward slash blog forward slash try and compare how it performs to the system you may be using at the moment.